Hey, Mikey. Wanna go for a ride? Yo, sure. Let's do it. other rides that you have not seen that I have filmed. Things are a little quiet <laughs> around here, so I think I'm the only one who made it up. Ah, <sighs> let's go see. A little spicy. Dry. Lots of loose rocks. Woo nobody, nobody's in sight. People are definitely stuck on the crux back there. Nobody has made it through yet. Too far away, I don't want to walk. I'm trying to find out if anybody's hurt or the bike's dead. But it's too far. That's where they are. It's Pierce turning around to those Africa twin. Let's hope he takes another run at it. There. Mike's not gonna make it. That was Mike, he was making a solid effort. He almost made it to the end of the really tough part. And then he just lost momentum and spun sideways. I'm headed down to help Mike, but look at my tracks. I'm just shooting rocks everywhere, sideways. Tough, man. You almost made it. Another 50 feet is what I had her. I got off the line and it crumbles. Oh. Okay, Mike's turned around. I'm walking back up the hill. Oh, it's tiring this game. Yeah. That was a fun hike. It's been decided. The guys are done trying. It's too hard. It's really hard today. It's super loose and dusty. It's pretty brutal. It's like 35 degrees out. It's pretty toasty. So instead of fighting that part and losing all of our energy in the first 1% of the trail, we're going to uh, we're going to go around the easy way. And we'll probably shoot for the summit. Let's film a little African twin action. Here's nothing. Not a big pond. 
Honda. Good.
God, spicy! <sighs> once you stop, once you stop in this, it's good to take a look around, have a little rest. <sighs> Mikey's gone! Way to go! Okay guys, I wish I was on the other side. My problem is I'm a standard. It's gonna be hard to get going fast enough to stand. I like what Chad's doing. Chad's standing beside his bike till he gets it somewhere reasonable. Like that. That's more reasonable. motion fall it's got badly pinned very happy to have knee braces on now otherwise I'd be super hyper extended uh, uh, uh. okay uh. I need to get my hand up bars there now I can get my leg up look at that that's where I was Mr. Rock Shooter himself. <laughs> He's the guy who hasn't been riding dirt bikes for like 15 years. How's that happen? on the seat when I said like that I put my foot down and then I, I just can't get going I fall over I just feel like this bike's too tall <sighs> maybe I'll get up there and then I'll feel fine
outside living. Sideways one way, sideways the other way. And I was thinking, I was thinking in my head, I'm like, I'm not even at the job, you know, it's fine. Right, it just got a little too out of control. Okay, I think we're gonna be okay. Let's go on. Nope. Ah, bike went. Scott stayed. What happened? That's what's great about these corners. Yeah, I will demonstrate. If you peel out on a corner, maybe you're running a 50-50 time. Maybe you're running low on mojo. Maybe you're tired. Whatever the reason, if you blow one of these corners, you've got this. No, it's not necessarily easy. <gasps> Getting your bike to go back, but it can be better than struggling for five minutes. <laughs> that should be good enough, hey? <sighs> let's let's reset the camera to make sure it doesn't freeze up. Look at that. That's where the guys are resting. Great trail. There, see that's the way I like to ride. That was slow, was controlled, was almost wild bike. Huh. Let's go here, and this is where we'll film you guys. So I've got I've got what we call the baby Sony with us today in my vest. It's a pretty cool little camera. And there it is. Already on its little beep tripod. It's a lightweight, got a little cage around it. So we go like this. Like this. And then we'll put that down. Ooh, I think we're going to go for the long shot. The guy's going up here. And I'll put the camera down with a bit of a zoom, okay? Get that all leveled out. Bring that up. Let's see what it's going to look like. Oh, yeah. Nice. Can you guys see that? That's all right. It's gonna be mostly tire. I think that's our shot right there. Except I can see the ISO flashing. And that means there's too uh -oh. redo. That means there's too much light for my settings. And I've already got the aperture, it only goes to f11. This cheap camera. Cheap. Oh, it's not that cheap. So if I go to one two hundredth of a second, my ISO is 160 and it's not flashing anymore. That's gonna work fine. So I'm gonna leave that guy alone and take off my helmet, take off this camera, get ready to film. All right. 
Yeah, I'm just kind of waiting here. Had a couple people ask about Andrew and my rally build, so I'll see what I can come up with. We've got the Nomad towers on here. Uh, Cyclops Adventure Lights. Ian from Rider's Edge has completely redone our suspension, front and rear. We have removed some of the emission stuff to uncork this thing. We've got the stag pegs. Of course, rear suspension. I'm running the Krieger luggage, which I'm having some troubles with. Oh, I gotta show you that, because I filmed it before, but with the other GoPro. The pretty big Aterby gas tanks. It gives us mm, 200 kilometer range. We're, we're trying to figure out how much range we have right now. Uh, Bark Busters, of course. What do we have up here? Ram mount on a uh, quad lock for my phone. I got these these mirrors that work off of a ram system. We got the trail tax going. We've got these Nomad ADV racks in the back. They're great for securing things. We've moved our license plates up and in. Our blinkers are now really tucked away nicely. So let me show you what's going on with my luggage. Got a burn there. That's from the 1090. Now it's this far away from the exhaust. It's getting some fatigue there. And I'll show you on this side. This thing, but on the other side, is broken. And it's broken right there. So it requires sewing skills to get it fixed. And that's a bit of a problem. I've got it tied down with cordage, which is a real bum deal. And then I've never really liked how much these flop around. So right now I'm running this system to help snug them in. I wish I could pull off something like this or this. It would really, you know, see, look at that. If I could pull it in like that. But that would be... That would rip those stitches right out, wouldn't it? I don't know. I'm, I would put a rack system on this because I'm, I'm running these panniers all the time because this is where I'm coming and I want to have all my tools and parts, safety and supplies. So I'm not going to run any lighter than this. So I want a, a rack system. I got to find one. I, I have not been successful yet. If it was a 701, I would have found one by now, not the 501. Huh. That's all I can think about. There's probably more mods. I, I can't keep up. So, the guys are taking their sweet time. Come on. Ooh, look, I'm going to be able to get them coming up there. Maybe around this corner here. And around. And up. Things are pretty chill up here. It's been a while. Pierce and Travis just showed up at the lake. So they might have had a bit of a struggle. There we go, it's Chad. Done. Next up we have Mike who's going the scenic route. But not least, Travis and the 500 somewhere back here. Nice. Well, that's it.
be here in no time. The timber's right around the corner. Adventure by Gathering 2021 and beyond. Could have been me. Look around. Oh. I like the fuel. Look, tough of smoke over there. Huh. One over there too. What a crazy summer. Here comes Pierce and the Africa twin. Finishing moves. Nicely done. <laughs> Down we go. Downright scary. It's so loose. This is where we have the most trouble coming up. And now it's just so chewed and loose. I'm trying to kick the edge. But then I get my foot off because I'm on that side. And then I use my front brake. I wash my front end. headway on his broken bike. He's been starting it every now and then. Just when he has to. And then back to coasting. If necessary, I'll whip up the toe strap, hook it around our foot pegs, and off we go. Ride's over. He says comparing bikes. Pierce loves the 790. Nice and light. Fun. He's a real man, so he's gonna stick with the heavy iron. That's that boy. Alright, I'll see you guys some other time. <laughs>